finally, after 57 hours, Good morning, everyone. I have found the world's first ever YouTube video. <sighs> Let's take a look. All right, so here we are in front of the uh, elephants. And the cool thing about these guys is, they, is that they have really, really, really long um, fronts, and that's that's cool. And that's pretty much all there is to say. Hey, was that was that it? Hey, I'll, I'll, just just I'll, I spent fifty-seven hours. Looking for the first ever YouTube video for it to just be elephants. God damn it, dude. God damn it, dude. I guess it wasn't a complete waste of time because I did find some YouTubers' first videos, which, which are kind of interesting. What have we got? We got, we got Markiplier. Um, I'm good. I'm good. Um, we got Smosh. Not after that movie. God damn. Elvis the Alien. Ah. I love Elvis the Alien. This is his first bit. Wait, what? There's two of them. Elvis the Alien, real first fit. Real first video? What the hell, dude? I gotta have a look at this. A look. I'm so excited that you're buying groceries from me. Do you have your Shaw's card? Your grocery card? The savings card? That you can save money? And I'm so happy to make you save money. You don't have it? Let me just. God damn, this is gonna be an interesting first episode. Welcome to the Video Vault, a new series in which we look at some of our favorite YouTubers' first videos and how they went from cringe to community icon. Real talk, I've been down there for a few days. I'm gonna need a stiff drink before before we get into this one. Uh, let, let's roll the, the cheesy intro. Hello everyone, my name is Nokia. Stop! Well, for this series, we're going to be looking back into the past of YouTube, and so I thought I'd have a name which is a little bit more fitting. Uh, so we're going to go with Brodie, the Throwback Guy. <coughs> I hope I'm not I'm not stepping on any Bill Nye <laughs> Science Guy related toes here. Now, I'm sure most of you, especially after specifically choosing this tape to watch, have heard of Elvis Alien, the commentary YouTuber. You know what? Let's just have a look at the unbelievably realistic whiteboard of channel summary instead. He's been around those current channels since 2015, uploading a couple times a month. Most of his videos consist of talking about another YouTuber who will perhaps be trending at the time for one reason or another, or maybe just making a video talking about all the stupid shit they've done. E.g. I do not like Rise Gum or Jade Pool or an on a BuzzFeed or Leafy or Mox or Tariq. Yeah. At this point, it's just easier to say he has a series called I Do Not Like Blank, where he discusses stupid channels and why he doesn't like them. It seems like a simple concept, however, Elvis's meticulous planning of who and what to talk about and when has granted him hundreds of thousands of views, boosting him up over 350,000 subs in just two years. Although previously covering topics such as the dark side of AIDS, Mild Food Review Vampire, and Leafy Dick Riders, Jimmy's success has more recently been with a unique series titled People Ruin Everything, in which fans vote for video games or TV shows slash movies for him to look into the dark side of, including very not safe for work fan art, bad memes, and of course featuring fellow YouTubers such as Colossal is Crazy, Barnet Pick, and Parasynical to read often viewer written fan fictions for Elvis's amusement. Alongside analyzing and poking fun at ridiculous YouTube channels and personalities, as well as stupid pop culture, the People Ruin Everything series has skyrocketed Elvis in views, subs, and longtime fans. He's now got a popular clothing line known as A. Alien clothing, as well as being a host on a Hot Wetsuit podcast alongside Bonnet Pig and Leon Lush, the latter filling in Zapto space after a controversial series of events that we'll skip over. The clothing line is packed with cool alien related designs from some of the community's best designers, and a podcast has featured many guests, including I Hate Everything, Keemstar, and Mr. Beast, the guy who pretty much just span a, a fidget spinner for like eight days. I, that's, that's about it. Uh, thanks, Whiteboard. Less work for me to do. Now, you know, I found some of Elvis's first videos. But I'm still trying to understand what the hell this whole real first video thing is. But if you just do what everyone else does and goes onto the videos tab and sorts by oldest to newest, you'll find this video. Everybody seems to think it's his first, which is titled Tila Tequila, the batshit crazy porn star. God damn, it took me so long to say her name. What a what an annoying name. What Tila Tila Tequila. Tila Tequila. It seems it seems easy to say now, but Tila te, Tila Tequila. God damn it. Tila to Oh my god. We'll have a look at his first video in a moment, but straight away you can see that the video was recorded in the same place that most of his early videos were. However, he doesn't introduce it as a first video, which begs the question of whether it was his first video, or whether he just wanted to go with the less formal, 
Cut to the chase intro. Let's take a look. So I want to talk to you guys real quick about somebody that was popular once but is not popular anymore and she kind of lost her marbles along the way. To be quite frank with you, I don't even think that she had common sense. I will fuck you up. You better go down with you with me. How could you even question someone with such skills? I should just stop making this video right now. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Overall for a first video, good Why quality, my decent editing, interesting sometimes. topic. I would give that a good six out of 10. So uh, Video Vault, studio audience, take it away. Thank you. Yeah, that's cool. That was fairly yeah. decent. It. Now I definitely know that over time, Alvis has deleted some early videos. Now if the term deleted videos wasn't obvious enough, it means I, I don't, don't actually, actually have, have the video, video here. here. However I know this because I subscribed to Elvis the Alien back when he only had 2,000 subs because of this video that he's now deleted. When we talk about the good old days, the golden age of YouTube, we think back to 2010, 2011 with Machinima Respawn, Freddy W, Mystery Guitar Man, all that classic YouTube content. However, I came across Elvis during the H3H3 versus Leafy is here drama. Yep, remember that zinger. Oh look, a re-upload. Now the H3 Leafy drama happened almost two years ago now, which is kind of unbelievable. So I came across Elvis the Alien back in March 2016 when he made a video summarizing the arguments of H3 and Leafy. With the right tags, the right title, and the right thumbnail, Elvis managed to worm his way into almost every recommended section for all the videos about this. Now as you can imagine, with most people who try and jump in on these trending topics and upload it as soon as something has happened to get the most views, as you can imagine. the video was kind of rushed, I mean, there wasn't much editing, it was just kind of summarizing the argument, and I'm just guessing Elvis wasn't very proud of it. In fact, I recall the outro advertising his side gaming channel, Elvis the Alien Gaming, which only had 100 subscribers at the time, now known as Galien the Weed. I don't, I don't really know why. Now, Props to Elvis for having such a professional intro for so early on in his channel. Uh, but you can't deny that this intro is crude as hell. And when I told my friends about his channel, I was saying, ignore the intro. He, he has some good points. <laughs> At least it's not spinning text. Now you may notice that most of his early videos are still up on the channel. They've just changed name or thumbnail just to be a bit more appropriate or more to his current style. And here's a little insight into the channel about a year and a half ago. In fact, one of his earliest videos, Whitney the Infamous Dogfucker, is actually his most viewed video to date with 2.5 million views. What the fuck? I was down the vault for a long time and you bet your ass I found a bunch of old videos which seem to have gone unnoticed by Elvis the Alien fans. Now Elvis, if you're watching this, I'm not going to be exposing any old shit. In fact, if you think this real first video is some incriminating footage, like Fast Keemstar, you're very wrong. Elvis pretty much just did exactly what he does now, but a little bit more lighthearted and under a different pseudonym. I, though I found it kind of weird that none of his 350,000 subs have ever found this channel, which I found after just five minutes of looking on hours looking in the vault. I'm not going to be revealing any titles, any video names, any links or anything like that in hopes that Elvis doesn't fucking despise me. In fact, some of Elvis's OG fans may have actually come from one of these channels. However, I'm not gonna be revealing anything about them. I'm just gonna be showing a couple clips that Elvis hasn't really buried. However, he may find them kind of cringy. So to break the ice, I've decided I'm gonna show you guys uh, some of my uh, cringy old videos from 2010. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my- oh my god. Oh my good god. If Elvis is watching this, he probably knows that this is not the first video he ever uploaded on YouTube. In fact, he had a whole other channel in which for some reason he uploaded a music video to, to my favorite band, The Wonder Years. I- I didn't really follow that. It was legit just a re-upload of the official music video. I don't really understand. So let's finally take a look. Hey, so these are some things that turn me off and probably should turn you off as well. cannot stand people that wear weed paraphernalia. I personally love smoking pot. I love weed. It brings me to a happy place where I don't care about anything. It is amazing. I love it so much. But if you're wearing a pot leaf necklace, I am not thinking, oh wow, we would get along so well. We have so much in common. You are so cool. 
I'm thinking, take that off, you fucking idiot. Ah, <sighs> just smoke pot and don't make it some huge thing. It's just a plant. Come on now. So it's clear that in these old videos, although Elvis has kind of left them a bit buried, nothing much is different. He's just doing the same style of video, just talking about topics into a camera, just with less editing, and as you expect, lower picture quality and sound quality in what looks like a bathroom and a beanie. It actually says the channel started in 2012. He had a decent 1.5k subs and for some reason had over 100,000 views from, from these videos. The sun in between his fingertips. And what did the internet do, I wonder? They helped him out, but not in the way that he was hoping. Like in this picture, they turn his fingers into chopsticks. I wish my fingers were chopsticks. Who needs forks? I mean, this guy isn't even Asian. Well, now it just looks like he's holding on to the end of some drunk ass intestine. Some of them were commentary, some of them were gaming, and for some reason, some of them were, were animals talking like humans, I think. I have never been able to move a rock so easily before. This is absolutely crazy, you know what I mean? Hey Joe, Henry the Pelican was making fun of me earlier. What'd he say? He was saying all this stuff about how we have wings and can't fly. Yeah, so? We can swim, Fred. We don't need wings. Yeah, but if I told him that, he would brag about his huge beak. You know what they say about big beaks. Henry's beak looks like a stretched out nutsack. But it's safe to say, and see, the Elvis has been making content for quite some time now. It just took till his maybe third channel to find his niche and his audience. But that's about it. Elvis, if you've seen the video or got to this point, no hard feelings. I hope you enjoyed the video and found some things that you wouldn't usually find. I hope it doesn't expose any kind of past. Like I said, I haven't revealed any titles or anything, but if it took me five minutes to find, I'm sure it won't take you guys long. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd love to talk to you guys. Leave me a comment and remember, let me know who you want to see me do the second episode of Video Vault on. I've got some ideas. But I'd love to hear what you guys would like to see. Uh, and any word on the on the Bill Nye lawsuit? No. Okay, I think I think we're still gonna be here for a second episode. Thank you very much. Peace out. I'm gonna go watch some porn. I'm Hey, so who watches porn? I just wanted to give you a heads up that this video will be deleted. Delete! 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 Delete!